Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me teach you all about using the Mac Dock. One of the primary tools you need to master on your Mac is the Dock. It's this strip of icons that appears at the bottom of your Mac's screen. It's primarily used to launch apps. If you want to launch Notes, just find the Notes icon in the Dock and click on it and then notes will launch. You can also drag and drop to it. If I wanted to open this CSV file in the numbers app, I could drag the CSV file to the numbers icon in the dock, drop it there, and it would open up that file with that app. So if you wanted to rearrange the icons in the dock, you could do that by simply clicking and dragging the icon to the right or to the left. You can remove an app from the dock by dragging it up and then wait till you see the word remove appear above and then just release. Keep in mind that the icons you see here are not the apps themselves, but links to the apps which are in your applications folder. If you remove something from the dock, it doesn't uninstall the app from your Mac. It's still there and you can launch it other ways. Now you can also add apps to the dock. There are many ways to do this. One is to first launch the app. So for instance, I'm going to use Spotlight Command Space to launch text edit. I'll notice that it appears here towards the right in this middle section of the dock. Once it's here, if you want to permanently keep it in the dock, even if the app isn't running, you can drag it to the left and place it on the left side. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Another way to add apps to the dock is go to the Applications folder in the Finder. You can click and drag any application and place it here in the dock. The dock also includes an icon for Launchpad. Click that and it will bring up a list of all of the apps installed on your Mac. So with Launchpad, the dock gives you access to all of your apps. The dock also gives you access to more functions using the context menu for each icon. You can get to the context menu by holding the control key down and clicking on the icon. You could also get to it by using right click on a mouse, two finger click on a trackpad. You can get to it by simply clicking and holding and it will appear there as well. Apps that aren't running will only have a few items available here in the context menu. But once an app is running, you have more options. For instance, text edit is running here. And if I bring up the context menu, I'll see recently used documents, currently open windows, many of these are on my second screen, and other functions like the ability to create a new document. While the left and middle sections of the dock can hold application icons, the right side of the dock can hold files and folders. Let's say there's a file that you access all the time. You can drag that file to the right side of the dock, drop it in there, and then click on it to open that document very easily. If you were to add a folder to the right side like this, then clicking on it will give you a list of the items there and you can click on individual icons to open those. If you control click on them to bring up the context menu, you have the ability to display the icon as a stack of other icons or a folder and you can view the content as a fan, grid, or a list. The dock is also used when you minimize windows. That is, you click the yellow button in a window here. It will minimize to the right side of the dock. If I click on it, it brings the window back. It's a way to hide a single window while keeping other windows for that app visible. Now let's take a look at some dock settings. We're gonna to go to system settings and then to desktop and dock. You can change the size of the icons here. You can drag to the left to make them smaller, but you can only make them as large as there is space available at the bottom of the screen. You can also turn on magnification, which makes the icons larger as you move your pointer over them. The dock can be positioned on the bottom of the screen, or you can have it say on the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen as well. There's an option here to change how minimize works. If I were to turn on this option here, then minimizing minimizes into the icon for that app. Turning on automatically hide and show the dock will hide the dock normally until you move your pointer to the bottom of the screen and then it appears. And show suggested and recent apps in the dock controls this middle section here. If I turn it off, then the suggested icons will no longer appear, but any app I'm running that isn't normally in the dock will appear on the right side of the left section, like these two apps do right now. 
So now that you know how to use the dock, you should remove any apps that you never use, add other apps that you often use that aren't here in the dock, and then arrange them as you like, perhaps with your most commonly used apps to the left, and then continue to add to, remove from, rearrange, and adjust the dock as needed. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.